One of the biggest economic announcements in a very long time in Fort Smith today. Good evening. Welcome to your 5 News at 10. I'm Darren Bob. Erica has the week off. The 188th Air National Guard Wing will be home to a new pilot training program, welcoming in planes from the Singapore Air Force. 5 News reporter Bailey Devane tells us how they did it and what kind of planes are coming to the area. 3rd District Congressman Steve Womack says we're past the first and hardest steps of this process, which was being chosen for the location. But now that we're there, the air base and the city of Fort Smith are getting ready for hundreds of pilots and their families to move through town. The F-16 planes are coming in 2023 and the F-35 planes are coming in 2026. These are the types of planes that used to fly in Fort Smith. They're equipped with artillery and by the sound of them, they will not be easily missed flying over the city. This is a mission that requires a lot of intense training and you want the weather to be favorable. You want the, you, you, you want the assets there to be on the ground. You need the available airspace and, and so in going through that checklist, we met really all the criteria. Arkansas legislators put in a bid more than a year ago to be chosen. The list was narrowed down to five contenders. Singapore delegates then visited the base this spring, and city leaders say that visit convinced them Fort Smith was the right place. Our delegation, the federal delegation, Governor Hutchinson and his people, uh, it has been a total team effort. Congressman Walmack says it will take another year and a half before the fighter planes make it to the air base. Fort Smith City leaders say they plan to work fast to have the planes here by 2023. These are really once, at least in a generation, if not once in a lifetime opportunities. Uh, from infrastructure uh, to anything we need to do at the airport uh, to help with this. 18 months is, is no time if you really look at it. It's just around the corner. And uh, we need to start, you know, as soon as possible to make sure we got everything ready to go. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News. All right, Bailey, thanks. Now, what does it mean for the city of Fort Smith and for that matter, the entire River Valley? Fort Smith City Administrator Carl Gefkin says it's a once in a lifetime project. Landing a project, a billion dollar project, doesn't come along very often. That's the size of a car plant or a very large uh, steel plant, uh, and we've landed that. Gefkin also says it's a validation for the city and the entire area. A validation of the ability and future of the city of Fort Smith. And while an exact number has not been determined just yet, Gefkin says the annual economic impact of having this mission at the 188 could be as high as a billion dollars a year. Over 100 uh, United States military families coming here, close to 500 uh, military, uh, Singapore, Singaporean military uh, staff and their dependents coming. So there are your homes that they'll move into and all of the spending that, that will happen in the Fort Smith and River Valley region Gefkin also says it was more than just Fort Smith that landed this project. The city uh, alone has, uh, has shown its best, but so has this region, including that of Northwest Arkansas, to show that we in Western, in overall Western Arkansas, have a lot to offer. This should really put us on the map and help our residents realize if they don't already, that Fort Smith is a quality city. The origin of the 188th actually traces back to the early 1950s. On October 15, 1953, the 184th Tactical Reconnaissance Squadron was, reor was organized and federally recognized in Fort Smith. The unit's first roll call consisted of 19 officers and 94 enlisted personnel. 188 continued its reconnaissance mission until 1972 when the unit received the F-100. unit became the 188th Tactical Fighter Group that same year. And in 76, they changed their handle to the Flying Razorbacks. Now in 2005, a base realignment and closure committee decision stripped the 188th of its F-16 squadron, prompting a conversion to those A-10 Thunderbolt Warthogs. And then on April 14, 2007, the first Warthog arrived at the 188. And then in 2013, the 188th was selected to transition to remotely piloted aircraft. That included the world's first ever space-focused targeting squadron. 
And as part of this transition, the 188th Fighter Wing became the 188th Wing. Now, the Warthogs left Fort Smith on September 10th of 2013. A new mission featured the activation of one new group and three new subordinate squadrons. The 123rd Intelligence Squadron also relocated from Little Rock Air Base to the 188th. You can read more about the 188th and today's big announcement in the River Valley on our website at 5newsonline.com.